If we look at our implementation of all known planets, we see a bunch of numbers here that start with at signs. This is again literal syntax, and before we've done at quote to create strings, here we can create what's called an ns number with at quote. So let's go ahead and we're going to go back to our view did load method in the OW outer space view controller so we can figure out what's going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few returns here and we can type ns number which is going to be our class name and we can say my number is equal to and we'll do ns number and then we can say number with int and we can pass in an argument name of say 5. So what's going on here? Well, let's first log this out so we can see what our ns number is. So let's print out my number. And we can go ahead and run our application here. And we'll see 5 print out to our console. Well, this is weird. So we're creating an object and we're passing in an integer argument. And now we're able to log out this number with percent add sign. In the past, we've always used percent %i or percent %f to print out our numbers. Well, ns numbers are really useful for wrapping primitives in an object. And why would we bother with this, you might ask? We earlier taught you that primitives are super efficient and they're super fast, and that objects take up a lot more space in the heap. Well, there are times when we need to add numbers or primitives to an array or a dictionary. But we must remember that dictionaries and arrays only accept objects. So in order to add a primitive to a dictionary or an array, we have to first wrap it in an ns number. And we see here that our numbers print out the same as our primitives do. We can also wrap, for example, a float. So we can say ns number float number is equal to ns number float uh, number with float. And if we take a look through this list here, we'll see bools, which we've also seen before as a primitive data type, chars, or for short for characters, which we haven't seen because we've been using strings for all of our characters. We can also create a float. So let's say 3.14. And oh, look, I forgot to add a care star in front of float number. So now that I have my care star in there properly, because it's a pointer to this variable name, I can print out my float number. So again, we use percent at sign because float number is a variable that points to an object. So for all objects, again, we use percent at sign. So we can say float number. And I go ahead and run this again. And we'll see 3.14 now prints out to my console. Now let's go back to astronomicaldata.m. And every time you see this at sign, with a number, this is just shorthand for creating an ns number object, which allows us to once again wrap a primitive inside of an ns number object.